Lavasio system for installing Marmiro Stone's natural stone pavers is the preferred method of installation. If done properly, the system will provide longevity to your pavement. It has been proven to outlast hurricanes, flooding, and extreme weather conditions without failure. The system is composed of a sub-base and a base, so your excavation depth for a vehicular application will be between 12 to 16 inches, and this will vary based on your soil type and climate. Making sure that you extend that excavated area three to four inches past your outside edge, this will be for your edge restraint. During the excavation process, you wanna slope that subgrade mirroring your final elevation no less than three sixteenths inch per foot or one and a half percent. So based on your soil type, tamping of that subgrade may be necessary. Once we've complete excavation, we're going to line the excavated area with a woven geotextile. We're gonna take that woven geotextile, wrap it along the bottom, up the sides of our base. Remember, the system has a base and a sub-base. The sub-base is composed of a three-quarter inch clean angular stone. Once we've installed the stone, we want to use a compactor. That compactor is going to help consolidate that stone into place. Once we're done with the sub-base, we're going to move along to the base. The base for a light vehicular application is 6 to 8 inches of 3,500 PSI concrete with quarter inch rebar and 12 inch centers. The depth of your concrete base will be determined by the soil type and climate in which you're in. Once we're done completing the base, making the surface nice and rough, we're going to move to the setting bed. That setting bed is a dry pack mixing one bag of Portland cement to four real barrels of ASTM C33 concrete sand. Then we're going to take that one inch metal screed rail, screed that one inch bedding layer, making sure we have a nice level surface. Once we have our bedding layer set, we're gonna move on to the fun part, laying our Marmiro Stones natural stone pavers. So here we have our six by 12, two and a quarter inch thick, made for light vehicular application. This is a grano blend, aged finish. Also comes in a three piece pattern, a six by 12, 12 by 12, or a grande 12 by 18. We're gonna lay this with either a tight joint, but if you want to achieve a higher vertical interlock, you can gap each piece out a 16th of an inch to apply your jointing sand. Making sure when we're cutting any of our marble or travertine, you wanna use a high quality diamond blade. Make sure your blade is segmented. Now that we're done laying our beautiful pavers, we're gonna move on to the edge restraint. The edge restraint is gonna be a reinforced concrete edge, extending the edge out three inches to the edge of our base. Using quarter inch rebar, tying those segments together, making sure there's no gaps. Once we've completed the edge restraint, we're gonna sweep the polymeric sand in the joints. Remember to follow the manufacturer's instructions. One reason why you should always go with Marmiro Stone's natural stone pavers is because of the quality of the product. We recommend you tamping the material using a vibratory plate compactor, using a rubber mat, not a polyurethane mat. When installing a sandblasted material, we want you to use a vibratory roller. This will help consolidate the jointing material, making sure you're getting the best vertical interlock. Depending on the pattern that you're using, will also dictate the coverage of sand. For every 50 pound bag, you will get about 175 to 200 square feet of coverage. For additional questions or technical support, please email us at support at follow us on social media, and thank you for watching.